Number one, the green plants. Children, in today's lesson, we are going to learn about green plants. We all are very well aware of different parts of the plant. Can you name the different parts of the plant? Right, as we have already learnt, the plant is divided into two parts, the shoot and the root. The different parts of the plants are leaves, fruits, flowers, stem and the roots. Every part has a different function which helps in the growth of the plant. We all can see around that most plants are green. Now, can you tell me why do most plants appear green in color? Okay, let us see why the plants are green. The plants appear green in color because of the presence of the green substance called the chlorophyll. The chlorophyll makes the plant green and also helps the plant to make its food. Now, let us learn about the detailed structure of a leaf. Leaves are of different colors sizes and shapes. When we take a close look at the leaf, we can observe the following. A leaf has a flat part known as leaf blade. A leaf blade can be either broad or narrow. It is flattened so that it can absorb the maximum amount of sunlight. The upper and the lower sides of the leaf are somewhat different in color. In some leaves, the upper side is dark and smooth, while the lower side is light in color and rough. The tip of the leaf is called the leaf apex. In the center of the leaf runs a main vein called the midrib. A lot of side veins emerge from the midrib. Veins help in transporting food, water and minerals to the different parts of the plant. The underside of the leaf contains tiny openings called stomata. The stomata are so small that we cannot see them with the naked eye. Stomata helps to take in carbon dioxide and release water vapor and oxygen. The petiole or the stalk of the leaf attaches the leaf plate to the stem. It helps in the supply of water and food to the stem. Stipules are the small leaf-like pairs that are found at the base of the petiole of many flowering plants.